Okay class, welcome to our new topic, design of food beams using allowable stress design method or the working stress design method. Pag pinagpalit po itong dalawa, parehas lang po ang ibig sabihin, ASD or WSD. Next, we have designing a wood beam. Ito yung mga general steps na gagawin natin. Unang-una, we need to select the design method. Ayan, we have the working stress design method. Or we have the conventional light frame construction. As recommended by the NSCP 2015. But there is a latest method called the LRFD method. Also used in steel design. Pero hindi pa naman ni-recommend ng NSCP 2015. Another one, determine material and design conditions. So, kailangan natin tingnan yung materials na gagamitin. And the design conditions. Ito bang materials na ito ay gagamit sa exposed to weather or indoor siya magagamit. Okay, so, yung mga ganyan, kailangan natin consider. Number three is to determine the loads to be applied. Of course, we need to calculate those loads and to be able to come up with the actual stresses. Number four, now we are ready to check for the flexural capacity, the shear capacity, bearing capacity, and deflection. So, ito ang design philosophy ng WSD. That the applied or actual stresses shall be less than or equal to the adjusted allowable stresses. So, basta may prime, yung ganyan mga stresses, adjusted po yan. Okay? So, ito yung mga actual stresses, actual deflection, dapat they are all less than or equal to the allowable stresses. Next, we have the reference design values. You need to see table 615.2 of the NSCP 2015 on chapter 6. And those reference design values will be adjusted. Okay? So the adjusted design value is just by multiplying the adjustment factors with the reference design value this is an example the adjusted shear so these are the adjustment factors na kailangan natin multiply sa mga reference design values so load duration factor wet service factor size factor flat use factor and so on and so forth isa isa yun natin i-discuss yung mga yan so, this is a table for the applicability of adjustment factors for zone lumber. Okay. Meron din pong ibang table for glue laminated lumber. Ang glue laminated lumber is an engineered wood product na usually ginagamit sa ibang bansa. Pwedeng ginagamit sa mga wooden bridges or sa high-rise building construction. Okay. Pero dito sa atin, ang common na ginagamit ay ang sawn lumber. So anyway, meron sa NSCP yung applicability of adjustment for glue laminated timber. So ito yan. So may A ASD only. Ibig sabihin ito applicable sa ASD lang. Ito naman sa LRFD applicable lang. Ito ang common, ito yung mga common na ina-apply sa ASD and LRFD. So, ganyan lang po. 
So, ito ang adjusted para makuha ang adjusted bearing stress. Yung reference design value multiplied by this applicable hanggang dito lang kayo. Applicable adjustment factors. Okay. So, ito yung load duration factor, C sub T. So, ang load duration factor, ay consider nito yung duration ng load sa isang member. Okay? So, habang tumatagal kasi yung wood member, ay humihi na rin ito. Okay? So, makikita ninyo sa load duration, may permanent 10 years, 7 days, 1 day, 10 minutes, or this impact. Makikita nyo rin na ang value ng load duration factor ay pataas ng pataas habang yung load duration ay shorter. Okay? So, itong impact 2.0 ang Value. So, mas malakas mag ng load kapag shorter yung load duration. Okay? So, ito yung mga typical design loads. Okay? So, ito naman nakuha ko sa chapter 2 ng NSCP. Ito yung load combination sa ginagamit sa allowable strength design or the AST. So, yan yung mga dead load plus fluids, fluid pressure at ito. So, and sometimes sa cases, sa mga load cases na ito, merong mga iba dito na hindi applicable sa ating design For example, ito, wala namang fluid pressure sa ating design Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ang applicable dead load ang applicable dito sa first load combination. Dito naman, merong hydrostatic merong hydrostatic pressure, merong fluid pressure, merong live load, merong effect ng temperature. But ang applicable lamang ay dead load and live load. Ibig sabihin, disregard natin itong tatlo. Pero pag meron sila present sa ating uh, condition, design condition, then we need to Youth. Okay. So, titingnan natin kung ano yung load combination. Ano yung pinaka shortest duration. Yun yung titingnan natin ito. For example, dito sa load combination 203-9, ang applicable sa atin ng IDNL or dead load and live load, ang shortest load duration ay yung live load. Makikita natin dito ay up to 10 years so for 10 years 1.0 ang load duration okay so ganun lang yung pagpili ng load duration factor and we have also the temperature factor now kapag na expose sa hanggang 66 degrees pataas yung member natin dinedesign Ibig sabihin, we need to consider the um, itong mga adjustment factors. Okay. However, pag 38 pa baba yung temperature, exposure ng ating design na structure, a 1.0 lang naman yung ating gagamitin. Size factor. Okay. So, yung mga malalaking section ng wood if B is 1 to 5, greater than 1 to 5 or equal to 1 to 5, and D is greater than 300 mm, you need to adjust it for size factor. Okay? Habang lumalaki kasi yung kahoy, hindi natin alam kung merong defect sa loob ng kahoy. So, we need to adjust for the size factor. And we have the repetitive member factor, C sub R. 
So, merong qualification para maging repetitive member system. So, three or more parallel members. At least merong three or more parallel members. And, is basing nila ay 600 mm on centers. That's roughly two feet. And members connected together by load distributing element like roof, floor, or wall sheeting. So kapag na-qualify yan, ang value ng repetitive member factor ay 1.50. So otherwise, 1.0 ang value. Next is the wet service factor. Kapag outdoor yung paggagamit and exposed to weather yung ating beam for example, ay dapat i-consider natin yung wet service factor. Pero kung indoor naman, and the uh, moisture content of the wood is less than or equal to 19%, 1.0 ang value ng ating wet service factor. Otherwise, we need to choose from this table. Okay? So, may dalawang table, visually graded zone number. So, which is common here in the Philippines and the uh, glue laminated timber data. Okay. So, we just need to flat use factor. So, kapag ginamit natin yung beam na pa ganyan, flat instead of pat tayo na ganyan, mas mahina kasi yung ganito. So, we need to uh, adjust it for flat use factor. Ito yan. Oops. Okay. Ayan. Visually graded again and machine graded. Depende kung anong ginamit natin. Okay. And we have incising factor. So, mga ibang wood species na medyo dense yung wood product. Ibig sabihin, you need to make incision so that makapasok ang treatment or preservative sa kahoy. Okay? Para hindi sirain ng anay o para tumagal yung kahoy. So, with that, kailangan natin na i-multiply ng incising factor yung mga reference design values. But for compression perpendicular to grain as well as non-inside treated lumber, 1.0 lang. So, buckling stiffness factor. Okay. Actually, for columns or beams as well, we'll just use this formula to be able to solve for the factor. Okay? And ito we will gagamitin natin later on yung mga yan para makita nyo kung paano. So, and then bearing area factor. Pero kapag 150 or more ang length of bearing, 1.0 ang value. Okay? However, less than 150, eh, uh, kukunin natin yung bearing factor. Okay? And we use this formula. Okay? Itong table na ito, yung mga result na yan, ay galing sa formula na ito. Yan. Column stability factor. But, we will not be using this one in beam design because this is for columns. So, you will not need to explain it. Okay. Flexure design for flexure. So, nahin muna natin yung pure bending. So, ang actual bending stress na sinasolve nyo ng mechanics of material is just MC over I. Okay. For rectangular members, it will be FB is equal to 6M over BT squared. 
and b this i is equal to bt cube over 12 that is the moment of inertia and this is also the section modulus again these are four rectangular members only. and this is the beam stability factor cl ayan medyo mahaba rin pa yung formula natin but then madali lang gamitin so fb asterisk Ito yung reference design values multiplied by all adjustment factors except CFU, CV, and CL. Okay. Gina gagamitin natin dito. So, and we have F sub so BE, the Euler based critical buckling value. So, gagamitin lang natin yan. F sub so BE, ito yung kanyang formula. So, iso solve natin yan. So, solve natin yung A minimum prime at saka yung slenderness ratio. So, the slenderness ratio shall not exceed 50. Otherwise, you need to change the section. So, ito yung formula for slenderness ratio. Now, kailangan mo na naman kunin ito. L sub E or the effective length of the member. So, may effective length and may tinatawag na unsupported length. Itong unsupported length ay yung distance between uh, <coughs> lateral supports. Okay? Tulad nito, example ng lateral supports ay ang mga ito. Breaching or blocking. So, yung distance kapag mayroong isang blocking pa rito, this distance is the unsupported length. Okay? Pero pag walang lateral support, ibig sabihin yung span mismo, yun yung LU. Okay? So, ito yung CL values natin. Kapag B is less than or equal to B. 1.0 tayo. And when lateral requirement, support requirement is met, 1.0. When D is greater than B and lateral support requirement is not met, we have to compute the value of CL from the formula. So, ito yung mga lateral support requirements depending on the dead depth to breadth ratio so if the depth to breadth ratio is less than or equal to 2 walang required na lateral support huh? and these are all the requirements so kailangan yan para mamit natin yung support requirements lateral support requirements kung namit natin yung mga ito hindi natin ko compute ang CL it's just 1.0 so, ito yung table for the effective length. Okay. So, for example, may cantilever, may single span. Wala dito yung continuous span. So, single span at uniformly distributed load, yung load case mo. So, kailangan mong kunin yung LU over D para makita mo kung less than 7 or greater than 7. <coughs> so, kapag less than 7 Uniformly distributed load Ito lang naman yung gagamitin mo L sub E Okay So, pag kailangan yung Kompitin yung L sub E Pabalik lang kayo sa table na ito So, that is designed for flexure And now, the design for shear As I've said, this is Horizontal shear Okay, but for rectangular members, magiging ganito yung shear. So, and design for deflection, last but not the least. So, usually, deflection is limited to L over 240 or L over 360. Okay, so may inatas ako sa inyong uh, module 
na common design formulas from the American Wood Council design aid number 6 so titingnan niyo lamang yun or you just use your book in theory of structures now kapag very critical sa design ang deflection you need to account for the long term and short term loads okay so i separate lang natin i compute natin separately yung long term at saka short term and then ilalagay natin sa formula nito so bakit natin i-design yung beam to be safe from bending lateral torsion shear failure bearing failure and excessive deflection so ganito ang mangyayari kapag hindi natin dinisign ng maayos so magkakaroon ng crack dito sa bottom kapag excessive yung bending and then eventually mag mapuputol yung ating beam so for lateral torsional buckling ganito ang mangyayari kapag nag exert tayo ng load, excessive load dito sa taas top ng beam kakaroon ng sideways na buckling shear failure itong horizontal, yung grain ng wood ay magse-separate okay hindi <coughs> rin maganda yan so, another one is notch failure dito, usually mang ginagawa ng carpenter, linalagyan nila ng notch dito para mag-fit ng maayos dito sa may support ngayon magkrak-krak dito sa banda dito yan if excessive yung load na inapply natin so you need to check and the bearing failure makita nyo dito sa support medyo lumubog yung kako that is because of the excessive load excessive deflection yan hindi man mababali yung kako but ayaw naman natin ganyan yung flooring natin ganito siya. Okay? So, you need to limit the deflection. So, ito yung example number 1 natin. So, we have a 4 meter simply supported beam. So, ang ito yung dead load and live load natin. And the wooden section, 100 by 450. Again, this is nominal. So, kailangan i-adjust natin for net sizes or actual size and 80% grade apito ang gagamitin natin kahoy limit natin yung deflection to 1 over 360 so the length of bearing is 150 so i-check natin kung safe sa flexure shear bearing and deflection so dito yung sagot natin so i-drawing natin dapat yung beam ayan Kalagay natin yung mga loading conditions, support conditions, and so on. Para ma-visualize natin. And this is the section. Again, this is nominal. And this is the net dimension as we have learned from our first module. So, the sectional area. And the moment of inertia. They are all in millimeters. Para wala na tayong convert-convert mamaya sa solving. So, these are the reference design values taken from table 615.2. And the only load combination we have is live load and dead load. So, T plus L is just this one. Convert natin to newton mil per millimeter. Parehas lang. We are now ready to check for bending. Of, of course, actual stresses versus the adjusted stresses so actual moment okay so ito yung moment sa simple supported view ito yung bending stress na nakuha natin 7.37 ito yung mga adjustment factors applicable but then hindi lahat ay applicable sa ating condition so Ito lang applicable, load duration, and CLO. So, since ang live load ang shortest duration natin sa ating load combination, 1.0 ang ating duration factor. 
and now for we are now ready to look for the value of CL we have LU on supported length is 4000 compute natin yung LU over D para makita natin yung LE so 9.28 ang LU over D so according to the table ang gagamitin natin ay 1.63 plus 3D 1.63 LU plus 3D so yan yung effective length natin gagamit natin para sa slenderness ratio 20.98 so now, kailangan natin compute din ito e-minimum para makompute natin ang e-minimum dadaan tayo sa mga equation na ito ayan so, itong COV is coefficient of variation nasa NSCP ito so, magiging 4,300 3.76 MPA and then, ito yung formula for e-minimum and i-adjust na natin yung e minimum para maging e minimum prime okay so this is now the Euler's buckling value 7.28 and then this is the FB asterisk and this is magagamit natin itong ratio na ito FBE over FB asterisk gagamit natin sa pag-compute ng CL ito yung 0.44 and then saksak natin sa formula yung value na ito at saka yung RB ayan CL is for, equal to 0.424 and then magkukuha na natin yung adjusted bending stress 7.0 So, makikita natin makikita natin na yung actual bending stress ay greater than the greater than the allowable bending stress. So, this is a failure. Okay? Fail siya sa bending. Now, normally, we do not proceed anymore with the calculations but dahil ito ay example, proceed tayo sa calculations so check natin for shear so ito yung shear force formula for shear force and ito yung formula natin for shear stress actual so point 0.8 yung nakuha natin kunin natin yung adjusted shear stress 1.73 and since actual shear is less than allowable, it is safe for shear. So usually, hindi nag-govern ang shear sa design. But we need to check. Another one is to check for repairing. So kailangan natin yung reaction at the supports which is also equal to the shear force. Okay? So, ito yung actual compressive stress perpendicular to grain. It is equal to V over B times the length of bearing, LB. Okay, yan yung makukuha natin, 1.33. And, i-compare natin versus the adjusted compressive stress. Yan, 2.2. So, makikita natin that the actual is less than the allowable so it is safe for bearing check natin for deflection this is just for immediate okay so allowable deflection l over 360 4000 divided by 360 is 11.11 .11 millimeters so ito yung actual naman ito yung formula na nakuha natin sa table or, or sa ating structural theory ayan so 7.8 yung nakuha natin since ang actual ay less than the allowable save for deflection yung ating bending member however bumagsak tayo sa bending 
kaya uulitin na natin yung design computations pipili tayo ng ibang wooden section okay so yan yung activity ninyo exercise number 2 is to repeat example number 1 with wooden section increase natin yung size from 100 by 450 to 100 by 100 by 500 okay, again these are nominal dimensions you need to adjust okay then 